Hello from Cannon City, Colorado, and welcome back fellow adventurers. Today we're taking a trip on America's most beautiful train. Let's find our seats as we take a ride All aboard. on the Royal Gorge train. This is a trip that I almost did not take because of the cost of the ride. More about that in a minute. It was not long after finding our seats, we were greeted by our hostess. We decided to go with a couple orders of chips and salsa. We booked our seats today on the Vista Dome train car, which allows these panoramic views up the side of the cliffs. I'll break down momentarily all the options available on this train. I'm personally not a fan of IPA but I thoroughly enjoyed this variety of local beers. It almost tastes like an IPA. And we began our journey heading out of Canyon City. Our attendant kept us informed of the things we were seeing out the window including the fact that Canyon City is the most incarcerated city in the country, with several prisons, including the Supermax. Getting a glimpse of these magnificent cliffs towering over us, it became evident the advantage of sitting in the Vista Dome allowing us to look almost straight upward. There are, however, some disadvantages to this selection. I'll talk about those in just a minute. As we continued our journey outside of town, we caught a glimpse of this popular hiking trail that meanders along the gorge edge. This is definitely something I want to check out in the future. Traveling through the gorge was absolutely stunning. And we quickly settled into the rhythm of the ride, enjoying our snacks, beverages, and the magnificent view surrounding us. It says it's for rent. Is it really for rent? You want to live it? Yeah. Holy cow. We soon found ourselves passing underneath the Royal Gorge Bridge. The Royal Gorge Bridge is North America's largest suspension bridge at a height of almost 1,000 feet above the gorge bottom. We had the opportunity to cross this bridge just the day earlier, and I'll leave a link to that video in the description below. We'll explore this bridge in a little bit more detail on our return journey. We were seated on the cliff side of the train and sitting in the Vista Dome gave us very little view of the river on the other side of the train. The river from up there. Fortunately, our train was not very full. So my wife and I decided to head down one level and take a seat at one of the empty tables below us. These are less expensive seats, but this lower level view of the river is absolutely stunning. We noticed these tents and airstreams as we came around the bend coming out of the gorge. 
At first, I thought this was simply a tourist trap, but as we made the turn around the bend, I noticed that you have a straight down the river view of the gorge from these yurts. Should my travels ever bring me to this area of the country again, it will be a priority of mine to take advantage of one of these yurts. Our tickets in the Vista Dome, not including food and beverage, were $119 per adult and $114 per child. That brought the grand total for six of us to just over $700 for this two hour adventure. Coach class is only $89 and $84 per child. It is also the least expensive option for this train ride, and you still do have access to the open train car. As we made our return trip, we were notified that the train would stop for approximately five minutes underneath the bridge. So we decided to make our way to the open car. Soon, we found ourselves surrounded by cliffs rising 1,000 feet above us. It simply took our breath away. This open car is often very crowded, but it is available no matter what tickets you purchase. Because the train takes a few minutes to stop on the return voyage, I would recommend that you take advantage of the open car as you stop underneath the Royal Gorge Bridge. Holy cow. No. That's where you were. You were way up there. We walked across that. Now you're down here. There's your playground way up there. So you guys, here's a picture of Teddy Roosevelt standing on this bridge right back here in 1905. That bridge we just passed. I'm talking about Teddy. <laughs> the man they named the teddy bear after. Look at me. And you could ride it down from the gorge up there all the way from the top down to here and get off and come see the river, then ride back up. And in 2013, there was a wildfire. It burned all the equipment up and they never reopened that. Which is kind of a drag because I remember riding that with my grandparents when I was little. Really? As we pulled away from the bridge, Dad and I made our way back to our seats. As we did, we decided to stop and take in one last view of the river together. Our path in life is accented by the places we see and those we see it with. This moment right here is one I will carry with me.